All right, this uh, to uh, Brenda and Francisco. Here's the video I figured I should just make uh, just to have you go through the Lumen site itself. I did give you uh, data steward access. So you have access to everything I'm going to show you here as well. So just real quick here, go to Lumen. You are going to log in as yourself, not me. And uh, you should see a data steward right here next to your name or next to your name here. And then uh, West Hills College Kalinga. Let me just kind of give you just a brief outline of what are in Illumin. If you don't know, um, <clears throat> real quick here, and the one that we're interested in right now is the SLO button right here. But real quick here, the top down menu, you can drill down as much as you can or as, as far as you want to in each of these little columns here. And I'll show you maybe just a quick demo each one of these here. So let's start with instruction first. So SLOs, where are we at <clears throat> on the portal? or in the Lumen, uh, we have uh, 244 courses that have been set. So this number is uh, set because of, uh, basically it's the courses that have been taught in the last three semesters. That's how long Illumin has been up and running and, and sort of pulling in courses here. We do have the Koki file that's supposed to come in here. And it's gonna have to add, it's gonna add another 100 courses onto this. So we have 56 courses that do not have SLOs in them. They're currently just finishing up those. Um, and that means we have 188 courses that do have SLOs inside here. All right, uh, the mapping part, and I'm not sure why Lemoore started to map, but uh, they're probably mapping just to the ISLOs. Uh, we were instructed by Robin and Matt uh, to not map yet to your uh, ISLO or program level SLOs because um, the program files are not in there. So that's where we're at here. The difference between these two numbers are the employed uh, assessments. So pretty much the difference between these is uh, how much courses have assessments in them or assessment rubrics attached to them. So that's kind of the three numbers there. All right. As you go down the list here, you can. Uh, look at each of the pieces here. So you have the courses without SLOs. Uh, here, um, uh, we can just go math and science here. Drilling down to one of these here. Math, science, kinesiology. Notice it's, it drills down all the way to the math class. You see all the course level SLOs here. So in the math classes, there are 34 course level SLOs. As you scroll down, then you kind of see which one is does not have it. It's the Math 75 course, which is going to be deleted because it's going to be a DSPS course uh, once the once the Koki file gets in here and everything is um, set up well. So let's scroll all the way back up to the top. And the w other way you can drill down is by by doing this right here. You can go. So let me get back up to the high view of campus wide. The other way to drill down is like this. And then you can see just the math department itself. And again, you're going to see the exact same thing. So you can drill down by clicking. You can drill down by what we looked at here. All right, so going back up the list here. And let's go now to admin. And again, this is a good way just to sort of drill down just from the top menu here. You have this right here. Now you're looking at AUOs. So notice the, uh, the tab name changed to AUOs. And so for AUOs, because they're not connected with students, they all sit right here. They all sit in the second tab right there. And so food services have six. Clicking on that, you can drill down to food services to their uh, SLOs or AUOs. Um, and we'll have training shortly here into how put to put in results here pretty soon. 
So again, drilling back up, I'm going to look at another one here, residential living. Notice the tab stays. If you click on here, you're going to get back to the first one. You're not at the first one because you're more like at a program level. This is more like course level, program level. And there's the five AUOs for residential living right there. All right. And the other non-instruction piece is student support services here. Again, the big piece here. Now those, because some of them are connected with students, they are sort of sitting at the course level. Uh, so there's, there's that. And again, all of them are complete. SSSP, we're still trying to get rid of. That has not been deleted yet, but all of them are there. Just a quick show, CalWorks. There's yours, there's CalWorks, there's three of them. They're there. All right, so there's the SLOs, AUOs, SSOs. I want to show you where that's at. Let's go back up to mathematics, my favorite. And so what happens here, we're still, I'm going to get together with Robin this week and we're going to talk about uh, synchronization with Canvas, but it uh, seems to be you can deploy things here. That's the new button that was added pretty much this semester. And so we should have course, uh, Canvas course to Illumin synchronization there. All right, so as far as the board meeting is concerned for this Friday, here's your data, here's where to find it. Uh, there are no program level SLOs yet uh, because the Koki file has to come in here. That will control curriculum. Then on top of that, there also needs to be a program file. That, that connects courses to programs to degrees and certificates. That's the little connection piece. That has to come in here before we can start inputting those. Our job or our goal really this semester is really just start assessing course level SLOs in regards to the ACC JC recommendations.